What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to give you a quick overview of the data points, go over some latest updates and where things might be going from here. Before I get into any of that, make sure you just hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that, let's get right to it. So currently down 0.83%. Based on the technicals itself, it is kind of wedged bound between that central boiling event and the S1, the S1 being that $6.96 range, and that has been a very strong support for Lucid. In the last roughly a week and a half, it's actually bounced off of that support three times. So definitely that's been the saving grace for Lucid. So right now it's just kind of wedge bound, like I said, but Stochastic is currently at 22, so very oversold. Number of retail investors are getting in today. Over the last several days though, it looks like retail investors were getting out. So maybe they were under the impression that this support, so this S1 wasn't gonna hold. So I'm not really sure about that. So let me know your guys' thoughts if for any reason you guys weren't buying over the last several days and potentially why. When it comes down to, for instance, the options activity today, there was a grand total so far of $234,000 in call premiums, 1.12 million in put premiums. And these ones clearly stand out right here. So based on this, at least, it doesn't necessarily move the stock price but it's a little bit more of a sentiment and the sentiment is very negative so once again most likely there is some individuals assuming that this 696 is not going to hold but outside of that though today is a lot slower for big money getting in there's only been one transaction and based on the bid and the ask it was a buy but 406,000 whereas typically as you can see a lot of big money has been trading lucid almost every single day so today's a lot less buying and of course with a lot of the other data points i'm going to be talking on it kind of very resemblant of that so when it comes down to for instance shorts they are returning 759.12 thousand shares 23.64 percent of the free floats being shorted and that works out to be 152.4 42 million shares overall being shorted 21.9 percent is the cost to borrow average so that's even in among itself going down so like i said the fact that we are red today and they are returning almost 750,000 shares goes to show like i said big money is just not buying today for whatever reason but on the positive end i guess retail investors are getting in like i said as of right now though there is no press releases no sec filings nothing along those lines so it is just merely following the technicals and the broader market but there is some pretty positive things i just wanted to share with you usually on this channel i like to point out stats charts and so forth and of course one of which is just the huge amount of demand for evs this one is a new one so as you can see the average age of us vehicles by type and so typically this includes obviously ice vehicles and also evs and everything under one chart so looking here the average for cars is around 13 and a half years so that does indicate in the coming years most likely a lot of these people who have cars are going to be looking to exchange them and potentially given the whole nature and now the new big infrastructure for evs a lot of people might be looking to buy into a ev one of which obviously was with a lower priced vehicle in the coming years would be Lucid. So Lucid definitely has a very good advantage right now, especially with this technology. On a side note, a kind of a random side topic, but during the Q1 earnings when I was live streaming that, I asked the chat, nobody really seemed to know, but have you guys noticed how Lucid and Peter don't necessarily use the word Tesla at all? So for instance, in Peter's opening remarks, he always talks on how Lucid is far ahead of the next biggest competitor, and even that next biggest competitor is ahead of the rest, but they never use the word Tesla. Even an analyst, when they asked a question, they said your next biggest competitor, they do not use the word Tesla, which is kind of weird. So I was kind of curious about that. But on a side note, going back to the chart, this is where Lucid's technology will hopefully help it stand out and take advantage of a lot of these people that are going to be really upgrading their vehicles in the coming years. So this is a very good chart in my opinion. And as well, recently this did come out. It did signal the fact that Tesla is kind of worried. It has been losing market share, not necessarily fully to Lucid, but definitely with a lower priced vehicle, and Lucid's technology, it can definitely take advantage and give Tesla a run for their money. But the fact that they came out saying that they're gonna be starting to advertise is a pretty big signal that there is a lot more competition in the market. So even more reason right now that Lucid really needs to focus on production and ideally a double or triple the 2023 production targets. 
But one final thing I just wanted to share with you that hopefully is the best of all the news. And it does look like the trademark Gravity, so this right here, this logo, did get actually approved for Saudi Arabia. So definitely this is a very positive sign. I was honestly under the impression they would have unveiled the Gravity prior to the Q1 earnings. So that way they could have had it as a talking point, but it does look like they did say that it's gonna be coming later in the year. So hopefully next quarter most likely is when they will actually unveil the Gravity because I'm very curious about the price point of the Gravity. But still, no matter what, this should be good for North America and also Saudi Arabia. So let me me know you guys' thoughts on all of this in the comments below. Given the nature and it bouncing off of this support for almost three times, it is fair to say and assume that things should be able to continue regardless of more so the shorts and also the options or the bearish options as well. So let me know you guys' thoughts on all of this in the comments below. Give yourself a shout out if you have been buying over the last several days, selling, what is your take on Lucid in the short term and where do you see things going? So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And even though Lucid is going down sideways, wherever it does go, take advantage of free promos. And this one is with Mumu. So as you can see, link in the description below and also the comments only for May. Sign up for a free account. You get one free stock. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So a complete no brainer in my opinion. And as you can see, throw $100 at the account, you get an additional nine free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So take advantage of this while you can. Link in the description below and also the comments without further ado i appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on lucid